As technology and robotics improve, manual and repetitive human jobs are being replaced by robots. This has been commonplace for years, just think of car manufacturing. But have you heard of digital robots? UiPath, valued at over a billion dollars in 2018 and set to IPO in 2021, is a company that started life in Bucharest, becoming Romania's first unicorn company and is now one of the largest RPA or robotic process automation companies on the planet. But who are UiPath and how did they become one of Romania's most valuable businesses? Here's how it happened. Daniel Dinners launched the business in 2005 in Bucharest alongside Marius Tirka, initially calling it Deskover before settling on UiPath. The idea behind the business was RPA, Robotic Process Automation, essentially creating digital software robots or blocks of code that carry out repetitive back office tasks like pulling numbers from invoices and putting them into accounting software, or processing insurance claims, all without having to change legacy IT systems. This saves employees time so they can focus on more important tasks. Will this cost jobs in the future? Almost certainly, because you no longer need 20 workers. You just need one overseeing the system like a supervisor. Daniel Dinners, the founder and CEO, was the son of a teacher and engineer in Romania, initially growing up wanting to be a writer before discovering a hidden maths talent. He initially started out running a jobs listing website in the 90s before discovering that coders in Bucharest were earning decent money. He borrowed a C++ book to teach himself and by 2001 he earned himself a job at Microsoft, relocating to Seattle despite barely even speaking English and stumbling through his first few years only understanding 50% of what was being discussed. By 2005, Dinners had returned to Bucharest to launch a tech outsourcing firm called Deskover, but during the firm's first few years, they struggled to gain momentum and almost collapsed when they lost their largest outsourcing customer, so they started selling software development kits to help engineers code faster, which helped to keep the business alive. The main turning point came around 2012, when an Indian company was undertaking a pilot project to find the best RPA technology, and Deskover came out on top despite not yet tailoring their software for that market. Dinners sent some of his staff out to visit the company to realize that RPA, which had been coined by Blue Prism, a competitor, was where the business needed to pivot towards in order to replace the need for people doing monotonous, repetitive processes all day, like data entry, by designing software robots. Fast forward to 2014, and they'd made $500,000 in revenue through their desktop automation product based on Microsoft Workflow Designer, with Dinners changing his focus to win more lucrative customers such as tech startups to scale the business faster, shifting the business to a software-as-a-service subscription-based model. Finally, he changed the name to UiPath, similar to a technical term within their code. Dinners was clever enough to partner with large audit and consultancy firms rather than try and compete with them principally because they had relationships already with businesses looking to become more efficient. So, by working with UiPath, they were able to automate their own work and introduce UiPath to their clients, essentially working as the UiPath sales force. They now work with many of the world's biggest companies, including GE, EY, and Toyota saving some firms hundreds of thousands of working hours per year. The end goal was global coverage and to be a public business, similar to rival Blue Prism, with Dinner setting up offices in Bangalore, New York and London, some for geographical coverage and others for outsourcing. In 2017, UiPath was recognized by Forrester Wave as the RPA industry leader, which helped to prove that their product was best in class and win new clients, which included Lufthansa, BMW, Allianz, Morningstar, and Generali, with clients all over the world across all different sectors. Boris Kremery, the chief robotics officer, suggested that hiring the best people, growing sales, product development, and customer service functions to expand into new markets was the key to their fast growth, with the goal of becoming a large publicly traded company that provides a digital workforce. The fact that their product is software means they can scale quickly, with investors saying they've never seen this kind of growth before. UiPath have also entered the Japanese market in the hope of aiding the aging population crisis which will lead to a decrease in workers in the future, with RPA helping to improve efficiency and productivity for businesses, especially across banking and automotive sectors. Dinners has opened a Japanese office to show that they're committed to locally supporting their clients. 
and according to Crumry, UiPath's RPA initiative has saved almost half a million hours at 200 businesses thanks to software robots. The fast growth has seen some serious investment in UiPath. Alphabet's Capital G investment company joined the $153 million Series B funding round in 2018, which valued the firm at a billion dollars. They've also seen interest from SoftBank's Vision Fund. But Dinez actually rejected Masayoshi Son's offer of a billion dollars which included share dilution and board control, so he chose Sequoia Capital and Capital G instead to lead another funding round valuing the firm at three billion dollars. This paved the way for future Google collaboration to advance their AI capabilities. A further round of funding in April 2019 valued the firm at $7 billion. This might seem a high valuation, but it mirrors UiPath's success, which has seen their revenue grow by 620% annually between 2015 to 2018, which saw them be named the second fastest growing company in the Americas. Daniel Dinez now understands that in order to succeed in business, you need to thoroughly understand the market in which you operate, and create a solution to improve that market. Similar to Bill Gates wanting a computer in every home, Dinez wants a robot for every person. The RPA market is due to grow massively moving forwards, and where there is a manual operation, RPA will exist, and UiPath will no doubt be at the forefront of the market. Will they IPO in 2021 and fulfil their destiny? Only time will tell. And that's how it happened. Thanks for watching.